I now have the pleasure of introducing and uh, welcoming our alumnus and guest speaker, Richard Frudenstein. How does it feel here tonight to be amongst others who have graduated from the University of Sydney as you've done? It's actually great. It's great to see some familiar faces and um, my university days were some of my fondest memories. We had a great time. Uh, it's a very you know, nice, a nice few years at uh, university, so it's, it's great to be back and see a few people. It's been quite a professional journey from Sydney University to holding one of the most senior positions in Australian television. Can you tell me a little about that journey? Sure. Yeah, I, I did uh, economics and law at, at um, University of Sydney and then I started work as a lawyer. I did that for a number of years in Sydney and was fortunate enough to work in New York. And then uh, uh, one of my clients asked me to come and join them and uh, that was News Corp. And then the first deal I sort of worked on uh, was a joint venture to set up Foxtel. So I was lucky enough to, to see Foxtel before launch at the very beginning. There was five of us sitting around a table saying, what do we do now? How do we start this? And so that was a great early experience for me. And from there, I worked my way up through Foxtel. Uh, I was um, asked to go to the UK to be Chief Operating Officer of B Sky B. Um, and then I did that for seven years, back to Australia a few years ago, and then I've been doing this job for about 18 months. Has there been a single philosophy, a driving force uh, through your career and the advance that uh, you've experienced? It's sort of been a case of get the work done, you know, keep your head down, get the work done and uh, opportunities arise. I actually didn't, um, I didn't apply for a job almost at all in the last 20 years. People, these jobs have been offered to me, presumably because I've managed to get stuff done. Have mentors been involved? I've had a couple of people that have been very um, helpful to me, particularly as I moved from being from the legal profession into, into the media. Um, the first chief executive of Foxtel was a guy called Mark Booth, who was an inspirational character and taught me a lot about subscription television and then uh, certainly another person called Tony, uh, Tony Ball who ran B Sky B was very helpful to me as well. So I have had some mentors in the early part of my transition out of law into the, into the commercial world. Of course television has changed enormously over those years. What have been the innovations, the standout innovations uh, that uh, you can identify? I think there's been a number over the past 20 years. I mean the, the, the big one obviously for Australia was the advent of subscription television in uh, 1995 when Foxtel launched and suddenly people had a range of choice. I think choice has been one of the themes through, through all the change and the digital world um, just creates more and more choice for consumers. Um, Foxtel provides many, many channels but now continuing through the internet with the ability to choose programs online. Um, so I think the whole digitisation has been incredible. Technology such as the Foxtel IQ allowing you to record um, programs, watch them later. Um, and then things like high definition where beautiful pictures that no one would have imagined 20 years ago are now starting to um, predominate through our service as well. And then there's a the whole um, social media which is again changing the way people think about programs. They have to be much more um, willing to engage with audiences which is a great thing but also changes the way uh, people report on things like news. And what of the future? Where do you see the technology taking television in the future? I think it's going to become more interactive and I think choice again is a theme that will continue. People will have more and more ways to access content, um, being able to access things wherever you are. Uh, we at Foxtel have launched Foxtel Go, meaning you can access the Foxtel programs on your iPad, your iPhone, on other devices. And uh, I just think there's going to be, con consumption has become more and more convenient, more and more mobile. Mobile is the next frontier, but uh, it could go anywhere. Finally, if you had one message, if you had one point to make to young people graduating now from the University of Sydney as they approach their careers, as they look to the future, what might it be? I think you need to think about your career. Uh, you need to think what industries will still exist in 10, 20 years because the internet is changing the world so rapidly that some things just won't be around. Having said that, I think, uh, I think careers these days with university uh, education, you're able to move from one job to another because uh, the core skills hold you in very good stead. So um, I just say good luck. <laughs>